Hello YouTube! Here is a quick tip tutorial about render layers in Blender. In particular, we're going to be talking about how to exclude the certain light sources from the uh, render layers and let them to affect only uh, the objects and we want them to affect. Also, I will cover how to uh, make your only the reflections brighter. As you can see, I have the reflections of this wolf. Uh, when we exclude the light source from the the render will have the problem that uh, this reflection will become dark. But uh, at the beginning I will show you how to exclude um, these uh, uh, reflections uh, from the light sources that I have here. Uh, if I enlarge this area, uh, here I have two lamps and they are affecting uh, this icy ground that I have here. Uh, here I have four render layers. In this uh, render layer uh, let me go to the solid view for shading. I have only lamps, uh, two lamps. In this render layer, I have only icy ground. In this render layer, I have Aurora Borealis uh, or Northern Light Mesh. And here I have Wolf. Why am I using uh, the four render layers? Because I expect from uh, each uh, each object to be either brighter or have some um, glare like the aurora uh, I want to add to the aurora blur or glare uh, and for the icy ground I don't want uh, to be affected with the lights uh, and we'll have to render light separately uh, in order to affect only the wolf uh, only aurora and not the icy ground so if we go here, uh, yeah, firstly in the render settings enable transparent uh, box. Uh, so we'll combine uh, everything with the transparent background. So uh, create these four layers. Uh, in my case, uh, on the wolf, aurora, on the icy ground, on the lamps. Uh, and uh, so what what do we have at the moment? This is how uh, our scene looks like at the moment in a viewport shading uh, and uh, what I don't like here is uh, that the lights are shining uh, on uh, this ground and this is the animations so I don't want uh, while camera is uh, panning around this scene uh, so this to be in view so uh, you may be got tempted to go uh, to uh, object properties of this uh, lamp and uncheck glossy. Yes, it works, but our wolf becomes uh, too dark. So it's not the solution. Sometimes you may want to uh, go with this, but not in this case. Uh, so what you want to do is to create, uh, uh, to put the lamps on a separate layer, like I did here. And uh, make the only icy ground as a separate layer as well and let the, this icy ground layer to exclude uh, the other lamps other lamps are at the moment in this layer so you have to click this box so we are excluding only that layer so let's go to the node editor and see how I combined all of these layers so I'm combining on the icy ground with Aurora by using Alpha Over because we are using transparent background. Uh, then I combine on the lamps by using the same Alpha Over node with our on the icy ground and Aurora. And then I combine everything together with on the wolf and our environment pass. As you can see here, I have environment pass. Uh, why I'm using, by the way, environment as a separate uh, because uh, I have a stars and I, I have special not set up for the stars so to make this the stars uh, a bit brighter uh, so we combined all of these layers like this and when we press the render button I'll press this button right now and uh, I'll show you in a moment what do we have uh, after the render is finished. So once the render is finished we can see straight away that we got rid of this problem. We don't see anymore these ugly reflections from the light sources and also our wolf is bright. Uh, 
so uh, why we didn't see the ugly reflections uh, from the light sources once again that's because we told uh, to our, uh, our only IC ground layer to exclude only lamps layer but uh, as you can see our wolf is still bright uh, and that's because we didn't tell to uh, we didn't tell our only wolf layer uh, to exclude lamps so we are still that layer still receives the light from the uh, only lamps so the only layer uh, that doesn't receive the lights is this only IC ground layer uh, I mean doesn't receive the lights from lamps but it still receives the lights from the uh, environment and from the aurora since we didn't tell that layer to exclude those other layers as well we uh, told them to exclude only lamps uh, so uh, this is the result uh, so far we can go to the um, uh, other to all of the layers now and check uh, how each of them uh, was rendered uh, and as we as we go to the on the ice uh, ground layer uh, we can see that uh, everything is good but uh, we don't have the uh, reflection from the light sources but our shadow is black uh, for the wolf why this is happening because we told uh, this layer to exclude lamps uh, so our uh, reflections as well uh, dark uh, right now and this is very easy to fix uh, we can go to only ice ground layer and uh, enable all of these uh, reflection passes uh, direct glossy indirect and color and now we have to combine all of these passes and insert uh, uh, curves uh, to make uh, the curves not to make them brighter we can do that like this uh, if we are using uh, color mix node uh, so as you can see all of these passes are appeared in this uh, render layer on the IC ground because we just enabled them uh, how do we combine uh, these passes uh, we're using uh, the uh, add node so we're combining glossy direct and glossy indirect and after that we're using multiply uh, to combine uh, glossy indirect with uh, uh, and in, uh, and direct with glossy color. Uh, after that, let's plug in everything uh, in the, in the viewer node and see the result. Uh, so our uh, reflections are still dark, but we have to insert uh, something in a glossy indirect node, and it can be anything. Uh, I will use. RGB curves so and let's make it brighter as you can see straight away our only the reflections uh, I mean indirect reflections are becoming brighter so once we brightened up our reflections the only thing left to do is to combine everything with the image of the same render layer node uh, so in this case uh, the image will be everything but the reflections so we can combine it by using a mix node the image should be at the bottom and the multiply node uh, will be on the top and we now ready to combine everything with the other render layers that we have here and see the final result so once we brighten up our reflections the only thing left to do now is to combine everything with the image from the same render layer node image in this case uh, will be everything but the reflections we can do this by using the mix node the image will go onto the top the multiply node will go to the bottom and now we are ready to combine everything with our other render layers and see the final result and as you can see now everything uh, works uh, we don't have any more the reflection from the lights on our icy ground uh, we have uh, our uh, reflections for the wolf are brightened and we have our wolf uh, looking bright as well and not dark so everything works as it should here we can see the real power of the using uh, render layers so thank you guys for watching this tutorial hopefully it was useful see you next time